These are 23 Roblox Battle War skills your enemies fear. For the first skill, we have a skill you can use to no-clip through your enemies by defense. First, break a corner block, then block yourself off and place a block under you. Now, spam jump and break the top block, and you should be able to move to the bed much faster. I recommend using shears, because it makes the process easy and quick. All your enemy could do is stand there and watch hopelessly as you destroy their bed. Next skill we have is a PvP technique where you build for high ground, then drop off and attack your enemy. And do it over and over until your enemy dies. For some reason, whenever you drop from high ground, you're able to combo enemies much easier this trick also makes it harder for your enemy to hit you since you're moving a lot keep in mind since this move is done often it becomes easy to predict so to make it even more effective you have to keep your blocks away to the moment you're ready to go up because your enemy won't expect it next skill is a trick to cancel fall damage if you ever find yourself falling down from a tall tower and all you have is a pearl instead of accepting your fate you quickly remember that you're subscribed to crystals and know that if you throw a pearl and it lands before you fall all fall damage will be canceled and you will walk out looking like an absolute boss your enemies will shiver and spot knowing that they picked the wrong person today for this skill we have pearl clutching the last skill was an example of it but pearl clutching can also be used to save you from an enemy while falling in the void first you need to take a look at the location where you want a pearl clutch to determine whether the pearl will make it before you fall in the void if the location is closer like this you don't have much to worry about but if the location is farther like this you either have to throw the pearl early then jump into the void or you can throw it late like this but only if you have a balloon so it slows you down from becoming the void's daily meal this next skill is what i call early shots it's when you utilize a bow to shoot your enemy early, right before you decide to fight with swords. But it's worth it because it does a good job in securing the kill. Next up, we have suffocating players. If you ever notice your enemies in between one block above them and one below, then you can take the chance and actually suffocate them by filling up the gap they're in with blocks. This is something all Bed Wars players hate. It's a worser feeling than getting shot off a bridge, because at least you died by a player. With this, a literal block would end you, and you'd probably rage and leave the game. I'm guilty of this one, and you probably are too. But if you somehow aren't, that's impressive. Next Next skill we have is a version of skill 2 where you spam high ground but this time you tell bridge instead. It uses more blocks but could be better in certain situations since you can get high ground while moving farther from your enemy in case they are attacking you. So just drop down and combo them. Once you start filling the combo, redo the technique again and you should be able to kill them. Another overpowered way you can do this is by tell bridging over your enemy when they chase you and dropping down from behind them. It almost always guarantees the combo since you get both high ground and the first hit from behind them. Next skill is a trick that can save you when you're stuck at a dead end with only a wall. You can either hop on a wall like this and get away by placing blocks as you jump or you can get away by jumping off into a wall like this and simply bridging under your enemy. When you're doing this, if you are low on blocks or don't want the enemy to kill you easily, then you can hop and place a block like this as you go. If you're stuck with no other path, you can stay down and place a block above you and to the side so you don't get knocked off. And maybe place one block underneath your block so in case they break the block under you, you won't fall straight to the void. Next, wait for the right moment and get up to fight your enemy. Try not to stay down here for too long or the enemy might unleash your worst enemy. And no, it's not the rock, it's the block so remember to break the blocks to the side so they're one hit in case you need to quickly escape next up we have a skill similar to the uzi dash and jetpack but this time you use tnt and uzi if you place tnt near the edge and charge your dash you can run up at the perfect time and that's at the same time if tnt explodes and else then you're pretty far it's a good way to quickly rush enemies they probably wouldn't see it coming until it's too late keep in mind if you do this you'll take damage from tnt and if you land from high you will also take fall damage you'll only do this if you have good armor that can withstand this damage in this road match i noticed the weak player at his base so i TNT jumped him before he could get high enough and knocked him down and kept on hitting him till he died. For this next skill, we have a move you can do in case your enemies bong you on a bridge. You can build up and create a longer platform that can defend against arrows hurtling towards you, allowing you to get closer to your enemy and dropping down to attack them. Before we get into the next one, I want to thank you guys for smashing my 50k subs goal. I would not have made it here without your support, so thank you. We are now more than halfway to 100k, so if you haven't yet, subbing will help a ton. Next skill we have is quickly blocking off the entrance. If your enemies are weaker than you and they go inside a building, you can block it off and then they will have no way out. Only do this if you're sure the enemy is weaker than you by either their HP or their gear. For our next skill, it is being able to hit far bow shots. A trick that can get you many kills and potentially win the game is knowing how to aim at a player crossing a bridge from far away. You can do this by predicting where they're gonna go next and aiming at the location by placing your cursor at the highest level that they end up at. At the next skill, it is what I call a fake fall block clutch. It's when you act like you're gonna fall off the edge to trick your enemy, then catching yourself on a block. The moment they look over to check if you fell in the void, you can unexpectedly get back up and attack them, which will catch the enemy off guard and allow you to potentially kill them. Next skill we have is wall hopping. This skill lets you climb up high walls without actually building. First, you need to get onto a wall, then in first person or shift lock mode, flick your screen from left to right while jumping forward, and eventually you will start climbing up the wall like this. It can be used to escape enemies when you have no blocks left, or drop from high ground in order to combo them. Next skill is called constant pressure, and it's when you get an enemy low to the point they start running, but making sure that they keep being pressured by shooting 
shooting at them with a bow. This skill is good to learn because it pressures them to making bad choices and doesn't allow them to heal very much. Naturally, if a player is low in a fight and runs away, the last thing they want is to be shot at. So it's only normal for them to panic, and that leads to dumb choices. So always remember, pressure, pressure, pressure. At the next skill, we got a way to dodge arrows. If your enemy is bowing you and you want to dodge the arrows, you can stay still, then move to the left or right the moment they shoot the arrow. This works because when you're not moving, your enemy aims directly at you, but the arrow doesn't shoot fast. So you can easily move to the side to avoid it. Keep in mind, this skill is only reliable when your enemy is using a regular bow and not a crossbow, because crossbows shoot faster. If you want this to work against the crossbow, you have to move to either side earlier before they shoot. For this next skill, it's a way to fake fall in the void. If you have or build a wall before you jump into the void, you can pearl at it while you fall and hit your enemy into the void or combo them. Make sure that when you pearl, it's behind the enemy so they won't see the attack coming. For this next skill, it's a way to dodge sword hits. If you're PvPing someone and strafing to the left or right, it makes them landing hits on you much harder. A way to increase this is by trying to get behind your enemy while hitting them. You can do this by sprinting behind them and constantly hopping around them. By the time they land hits on you, you should have already gotten them low enough to simply kill them. Next skill we have is a way to hit players on balloons. Are you tired of players who run with balloons? Well, with this trick, you can easily hit players by aiming ahead of them like this and releasing the shot at the right time. This same technique also applies to if the players are in the sky. But what if I told you that there is an easier way to do this? If you and an enemy are floating under the map, you can go in third person and aim at them if they are directly below you like this, and it greatly improves your accuracy. Now, this is something that can really make your enemies afraid. Next skill is a counter to a pearl move. If you're fighting a player and get low, you probably would build up fast to hopefully get some healing time. But if your enemy is smart and has a pearl, they can just pearl to your platform and kill you easily. But a very simple way you can beat this is if you make a platform like this, build up a little more, and make a platform this way. If the enemy pearls at your platform, chances are they're gonna end up being below you, so then you can just get down and hit them. Keep in mind, this works best if your enemy was directly below you when you started building up. This next skill is a move that can drive your enemy crazy. First get shears, then get a bow. Now make a player low enough so they can retreat inside a building like this, and block off the entrance so they can get stuck. Now with the shears, make holes in the wall and shoot them through it. Then block off the hole and make a new one and repeat. A way to increase the power of this skill is if you have Yuzi because you can dash at the player through the wall when they're in a difficult to reach areas. Eventually, if you keep this up, the player will die. But if you really want to strengthen this skill, you can keep a pearl on you so that if you get them low enough, you can just pearl through the wall like this and now they would really have no chance. Next skill is a move that you can do using Lassie. All you need is a bridge and a block that will be broken in one hit. Then using the lasso, you can grab a player and get them over the block. Now break the block and they would fall straight into the void. It's basically another version of this one where you lasso the enemies to a wall that drops to the void, but just a more or less expected one. I don't know about you, but if an enemy did this to me, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near their lasso, because that thing would yoink me faster than how I would yoink, yoink an emerald. And last but not least, we have one of the greatest skills, and it's hitting that subscribe button, because you never miss a future video, and it allows you to always be one step ahead of your enemies who aren't subscribed. And it helps me out a lot, especially now since I'm trying to speedrun to 80,000 subscribers. Let's beat this goal the same way we always do. We got this.